Hi there, welcome to Radiant Art Inspirations, where you get easy, fun, and fast face paint tutorials. Today we're going to be doing a super duper fast spring design slash Easter design. And we're not gonna be doing just one, but two designs, both on the face and on the practice board. Today we're going to be using some OOOH stencils by Clayton James. And there are so many stencils to choose from, it's unbelievable. Today we're going to be using several different types, some Easter designs, designs and a few others to demonstrate to you on what you can do with stencils, how versatile it is. And with these in particular, I love the shape. I love how sturdy they are and they're really, really good quality. One thing that I would like to mention before we get started is when you're dealing with more detail in the stencils or like smaller designs as you can see here or beautiful details with a flower like this. I recommend to use a finger dauber more so than a big sponge so that you have more control of exactly what you want to stencil along with you don't usually get that much of a bleed through like you would with a regular sponge. So once again, when you are doing more detailed stencils, using a finger dauber is going to be your best friend. With all of that out of the way, let's get started. These are the supplies we're going to be using today. First, we're gonna be using the Stencil Easter Bunny Ears M08 and sponging with a white finger dabber. I know I said dauber earlier, it just sounds nicer. And look how easy that is. It looks great on the forehead. Next, we're going to be using Unicorn Storm R01. And this is a really versatile stencil. I usually use it for a lot of my boy designs and I just love that extra texture that it adds. Here, we're using a blue finger dauber to add it on both sides of the face, a little above the eyebrow, and then just right below the eye. It looks pretty symmetrical and it's looking really nice. You could stop here if you wanted, but next we're going to be using a tribal wrap, W14. And this one is one of my all time favorite stencils. I use it so often. So sponging in black, add one piece on the top and then one piece on the bottom to make it asymmetrical but it looked a little naked to me on top of the forehead, so I did add a little bit more tribal on top as well, but you do not have to do that. It's totally up to you, and you can also change up the colors that the person wants or that you would prefer instead. So you're already almost done. Next, with a number two brush loaded in blue to match the stencil color that you used a little bit earlier, fill in the inside of the ears like so, and then with that same number two brush loaded in black, just do some outlining. When you are outlining stencils, it is really a great practice if you struggle with doing lines or following your work. And that is it. So easy. You can add glitter if you like, but this is a good design for really small kids or the squirmy ones, or if you have a really long line and a very short time frame to do it. Stencils are amazing. Now let's do the exact same design on the practice board. You there. Before we get into our next design, make sure to like this video if you are enjoying the content and subscribe if you haven't already because there's a bunch more great videos coming to you soon. So make sure to hit the little notification bell so that you do not miss a single video. These are the supplies we're going to be using for this design. First, with a three quarter inch brush loaded in any split cake that you like. This one's a very springy one, so I picked this. You're going to do it just as you see, add some glitter, then we're getting straight into the Cuddle Bunnies stencil. I'm only using one right here and then the finger dabber is loaded in purple. We're going to be sprinkling on some glitter while the stencil is on. This way the glitter is only on the little piece that you want it on instead of everywhere. With this stencil, I love it because you have so many different options to use while stenciling. Today we're only going to be using the butterflies and the heart. The butterflies will be sponged in blue. 
while the stencil is on, sprinkle on your glitter. And then we're gonna get straight into the hearts loaded with a white finger dauber. And we're going to sponge it right next to the butterflies and then a little bit below close to the bunnies as well. Add on that glitter while the stencil is on and it's looking so beautiful, we're already almost done. Then we're getting into the Hibiscus Storm stencil and we're going to be using the smaller flowers for the bottom of the design, very close to the eye. First sponging on a small flower and then the bigger one right below it and right next to the bunny. This design is so incredibly easy. You're using stencils and you can probably blow this out in maybe 30 to 60 seconds. Next, we are using a Mark Reed number four brush loaded in white to do dots. This is my favorite brush to do dots. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite is because I will try it out. But so far, Mark Reed, nothing can beat it. Next, we are adding some beautiful glitter. And if you are a regular viewer, then you know Electroshock is my all-time favorite glitter and that is it that looks so amazing now we're going to do the exact same design on the practice board We're getting a bonus design. Yes, we are here. We're using a jam cluster, very specific for Easter, as you can tell with the colors, sticking it on either with glue or medical tape, and then adding the world's best glitter by Silly Farm right on the outside. This is one of the shimmeriest, shimmeriest glitters I've ever used, and it is so pretty with this design. Look at that, so beautiful. It took a few seconds, and you have three designs instead of two, and it looks amazing. That is it for today. Out of the two designs that we did, which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you want to get these stencils, that link is in the description box below, along with a timeline index as well. While you're scrolling through social media, take a look at our Instagram at Radiant Art Inspirations, where we post all of our step-by-steps for our face painting tutorials and we also have a TikTok where we tell you true stories of what it's like being a face painter. That is it for today. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.